So, Chloe, mm -hmm. tell me why you are scared to go to Detroit. I mean, have you read the news? It just seems like every, I mean, I'm a news watcher. Well, not really, but I like to look at sort of more shocking articles, and it seems like whenever, or most times, that there's some sort of, oh, my sister was raped and killed and thrown in a river. Oh, my girlfriend disappeared. It just seems like Detroit's a pretty common place for that to happen. Why do you think that? Why do I think that happens there? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a <laughs> geographer, but an anthropologist. Um, maybe there's a lot of gangs there. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it happens anywhere. It's the culture is, is fucked. Is it an actual fear? Um, I wouldn't say for me, Chloe, Detroit is a fear, but certainly for me, and I think pretty much all of the women I've talked to, um, walking on the streets at night in places you don't know automatically instills a sense of fear or mm -hmm. unguardedness, or you know, if it's not super consistent it's, and strong, it's like it never doesn't cross my mind when I'm walking around at night in a city. Ever. Right. And I'm not like, I don't consider myself a particularly like, sca like scared, weak, weak, weak's the wrong way to look at it. It's not like something I think about a lot, like I'm going to be raped, but I just think it's something that all women are thinking about, are vaguely thinking about. Would you? What would you do if you found yourself walking down a street in Detroit at night by yourself? Um, I'm sure my heart would beat really fast. And I would try to make my body look as bulky and unattractive as possible. Oh, one mechanism I figured out if I do get rid or like if someone attacks me is to make myself seem as gross and disgusting and weird as possible so not be scared as much as like really weird, like <laughs> gross, weird, making weird faces, weird, weird sounds, like as unattractive and crazy as possible. But yeah, just probably try to get where I'm going as fast as possible mm -hmm. and be very aware, keep my senses open. Would you feel better if Nick was walking with you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like it, yeah, no doubt. Oh, it's safer. I mean, it's safer. Uh, yeah, safer for two girls even, but it's definitely a safe place to play as a guy with you. And I trust Nick. So. Even, even though he's not telling you why you're going on this road trip. Yeah, I still. I mean, yeah, I still care about him. Even if he has this weird resistance to telling me, it uh, seems unrelated to him being able to either protect me or more likely just be a deterrent for someone who's trying to attack me. Well, so, what happens though if you you get in a fight while you're in Detroit? I don't think, I don't think we could get into a fight bad enough that Nick would, would let me run the risk of getting Rick seriously harmed. Mm -hmm. If there was something, I mean, it probably, I still wouldn't want to go out, but if I had to, I think, I don't think we'd get into a fight.